Wood Processing Corporation hired Faustian Associates to provide technical support in their compliance with NFPA 664, which is the wood dust standard. Uh, it's designed for wood processing facilities. The wood pellet manufacturing company called us in for the accident investigation. What we found was that they actually had a situation where they had a smoldering nest fire in their cooler. Uh, the fire department was called in to help put out the fire, but in that activity, the an, an ember or some sort of uh, flame kernel traveled from the cooler to the bag house. And then they subsequently had a deflagration in the bag house. The fire traveled through the ductwork from that bag house that was connected to the silo. There was a, a dried wood silo located nearby that was connected to the bag house. The flame traveled from that bag house to the silo and initiated um, some dry wood in there into combustion. And then therefore they had the fire traveling from the dried, uh, sort of the, the pellet cooler going to the bag house and then subsequently onto the silo. Well, after the investigation, our support during the investigation, we subsequently conducted a gap analysis for the facility. We went through their processes and programs and their current equipment makeup and compared it to what NFPA 664 uh, standard had wanted or required. And we then looked at the gap. Uh, where were their deficiencies? Where do they meet up with the requirements? And we constructed a, a, a gap analysis is what we call it. Uh, listing the deficiencies and, and giving gold stars where, where those gold stars were warranted. Afterwards, we then conducted a, pro, a process hazard analysis, a PHA. Uh, after spending some time with a client, we were able to develop a risk tolerance matrix that they might have, uh, see what uh, risk level they were okay with, and then subsequently we again conducted the PHA, which is a more detailed analysis than what a gap analysis would, would generate. What we did was, for the client, we helped them understand hazards that they previously didn't appreciate because they were um, under the assumption that their material was non-deflagrable because of the definition in NFPA 664. Subsequent to that, we helped them with that PHA. The PHA identified a lot of issues that they had at their processing facility, and we helped them implement a program to mitigate those hazards. And, and, and reduce the risks at their facility. And then thirdly, we actually help the company look at their sister facilities and bring in some of the, the changes and the implementation of programs at these other sister facilities so that the whole company was at a similar level for uh, deflagration and fire protection against uh, wood dust hazards.